Hello again. It's Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida. Priscilla Batsal, in fact, at the Expression Start Studio Gallery. And I just did a ring pour. I also tried to put a wet cotton rag over my residuals, and it's dry. Um, I had to leave the camera for quite a while to let it cool. And I did a majority gold ring pour, and the gig with that was that it came out mostly gold. And I'm not sure why, but it did teach me that I can't go gold every other ring. And somebody has challenged me to use silver, which although it hasn't been my friend in the past, I did bring some out here. <laughs> and it was here a moment ago, although I seem to have disappeared it quite nicely. So my plan is still going to be start with colors that I really want to see in here. And I'm going to paint the canvas white first with a base coat so everything will slide. And especially my favorite color, my neon folk art, multi-surface acrylic. I'm just scanning the surrounding areas for that silver, which is sort of missing right now. I also have a really expensive uh, 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas, and I'm, I guess I'm feeling kind of cocky, like, uh, like I might be able to get away with using that right now. So we're probably going to try that. And I can't get enough of this purple. And I did buy like 25 bottles of it when I had the chance. I'm going to try and keep my colors a little bit simple, if that's even possible for me to do. I like that blue I put in there. Or was that black? I can't tell right now. It looks like blue to me. And I do want a little bit of gold. Those are pretty colors. I'm going to put them aside in a moment. I kind of want some orange in there. Good question, which orange though? I think this will work. And maybe, just maybe, yeah, I'm just going to get wild. Ruined another shirt today wearing it to paint. But I was going to put my t-shirt over it, but then I didn't. Oh, look at that sink right away. Ooh, peeve me. That's not what I had in mind there at all. That's funny that the, uh, the red-orange doesn't do the same thing. Wow, that came out in odd streams. Okay, well, at least I got enough of that. If we're lucky, it won't come out like it did last time with the majority of everything deciding to um, become that... Ooh, that's... Ooh, I like that. That's cool. Uh, I know, I cut myself off. I do it all the time. It's sort of like real life when people interrupt you. Sort of like me. <laughs> anyway, I digress. I have some very pretty blue, there we go, around here that I like. It's metallic when it's shaken nicely. Um, what else do I want in there? Do I want some more gold? I might. I'm pretty sure I don't have nearly enough white in there. And I don't have enough orange in there, that's for sure. And that red-orange did work a minute ago. And what comes out first will... What goes in last will come out first. Yes, duh. Okay, so. And that white is sinking. I think we have plenty of paint there. We may be making a bit of a mess. You know what? I've got this blue and I didn't use it and I want it in there. Okay, hey, that's perfect. I'm going to put a bunch of that in there. I'm still not perfect at ring pours, but I'm still learning and experimenting and putting more colors in while you're not watching. Um, and most of those colors are over here beside me, whether you can see them or not. So if at some point in time I do the same thing that I did in the last ring pour and decide that uh, I want to stop and leave a negative space, we've got all kinds of colors to fill in there. This is my white in my squeeze bottle. I use a marble in there. I'm going to put this aside for right now. I have got myself brand new edge catchers, which you can probably barely see because they are the inserts from a Michaels 16 by 20 pack of bulk, bulk pack of canvases. I have cleaned. You know what? I really prefer to dump it out of the bottle, but right now I'm just going to do what's right in front of me. This is my OXO Good Grips Omelette Turning Spatula. And this spreads paint. That if, I just put that on a 16 by 20 canvas. Oh, darn. You know what? I didn't unwrap my 20 by 20. So I lied about the 20 by 20. We'll do that another time. Plus, I never found that silver paint anyway. 
Yeah, I think I'm getting dementia pretty quick here. <laughs> it's probably just the heat. It's in the 90s. Not only am I wearing something frozen, but I've got something frozen for my camera to drape over too. Maybe that will help. Because um, we're on short, short movies, no two-parters, camera stops, that's it. Game over. <laughs> Even with a second camera, it still overheats. But it's not out here, and I don't have the ISO settings yet. So, you know what? I've got glasses, and I'm snow blind, so I'm going to put them on. I'm hoping you're still in frame, too, because that looks like, for some reason, it's dripped, dipped, dipped down out of position. But I'd like to be wrong about that. Yeah, the other one also does a self-focusing thing that is kind of interesting, but not not good for making movies. So, all right, it's hot out here. I'm pretty sure everything's going to dry really fast, and I'd like to get to this. So, my paint is right here, and I'm going to wish that I could get that to go that way. But since you don't always get what you want, I'm going to get what I get. I'm going to get a lot of that color. It looks like mostly that color. <laughs> Some of it must be buried in there. I'm going to dampen my rag again so I can save my colors or use a damp rag and put it over the top of that. I don't know what we're going to do with this. I'm very tempted to be something other than a slow tipper. It was a slow tipper last time and it didn't rescue anything because it all went to one side and that might have been because I'm not level but I checked my level which is always a good idea by the way before I started. Be nice if we continue to get those layers of color in there. And I like those cells. It makes me want to stop and use the torch. I didn't even use the torch in the last video until after it was over. <laughs> that made sense. Not. Anyway, so let's do that because it looks like something may come of it. One of these times, I like cells in my ring cores. I don't mind. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. I like texture and pattern. The paint I left out for, you know, like 45 minutes, so everything is extremely, extremely liquidous right at this point. It might be different inside the house. But right here, right now, everything's flowing very easily. I haven't got to the point where I'm willing to sacrifice anything to my edge catcher yet. I'd like to keep, I hear the rain. It's bright sunshine in Florida and I hear the rain. You probably can't hear it because it's not strong, but it's very strange in the afternoons in the summer. <laughs> You're like, wow, it's sunny, but it's raining. <laughs> it's very strange. I'm getting used to it though. It's been a couple of years. This is my second summer. Third summer? Anyway. So this is different, and we're not getting rings because I'm tipping too fast, maybe, and because the paint is so liquidous, it's sort of changing with each other, with itself in there. Makes me want to start and put something new in the middle. Makes me want to know what that is. What is that? What are you? Are you something, or are you nothing? I don't know what that is, but I'm extremely tempted right at this moment to do something really off the wall, which should surprise everyone, not at all. I'm trying to be a slow tipper in spite of the fact that things are looking very strange. <laughs> but uh, we're just back to the phase where everything's an experiment anyway. And may I suggest if you're going to work outside in 90 degree heat, you do it in the shade with a fan, or a triple fan like I have, on you, and find something that holds water. Hmm, let's say leftover adult diapers from some yard sale somebody gave <laughs> Get them wet, put them in the freezer, and hang them around your neck, and, and tie them up tight with a nice rubber band so they don't hang on the front. Okay, so I'm afraid that if I do what I'm thinking about doing, which is taking the paint that's left in the bottom of the cup and adding another color, 
that I will not get to be able to keep what I have, even though it's just mostly, it looks like an oil slick on top of a puddle. So I'm getting what I asked for. In my last video, I said that was something I really liked. So, hey, I guess the universe is listening, right? It's, um, it's very different. I just as soon not have any rivulets come out of it, which is, but pain is moving really fast. We have like just a little more than nine minutes left. But I think the paint is moving so fast because I left it outside and went in to cool off myself and let my camera cool off, but the paint stayed out. And I have, uh, yesterday when I went in, I thought I'd come back out, but I brought my paint in because I wasn't, uh, wasn't thinking it would fare well. And now I get to find out the hard way. But it really looks like reflections on a puddle. It's just such an all over pattern. And I really did mean to use that 20 by 20 canvas and just brainless wonder that I am in the heat. I just grab the 16 by 20 instead. Let's see how far we can get with this. I am kind of watching the, the volume of liquid and where it's going before I'm choosing to tip. Thank you, Gina, for teaching me tricks with ring pours sometimes. But I'm also watching the white paint that we put down first dry because it's becoming matte in places. But we're not making any mud. We've got a lot of really cool patterns. I mean, th that orange definitely is a little muddy. But it's metallic orange, so it'll have a shimmer no matter what. It's a lot more akin to copper than mud. <laughs> Shiny mud! Oh my god, this is painstaking. <laughs> I'm so not patient! I just not meant to do this, but it's pretty cool and kind of fun. I think we're gonna go this way. Hopefully you could see some of that while I was doing it. I'll let a big bunch of that run right down and back and level it out so it doesn't get too funky town. It's gonna make like somebody a beautiful scarf or something. And you'll get to see it because it's so hot I can't make that many videos right now. All right, well, I'm gonna get my edge catcher out and do my very best. I'm gonna move it up because I only want paint up here right now. I'm gonna let that touch, tap it over, squeeze it a bit so it covers the edge, move it down. We made mud there. I think I want my Princeton, let's get the square tip, my Princeton Catalyst spatulas. They're actually described as art tools. I'm gonna use the paint that is on the edge catcher to just go toward the edge. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, but I don't want it on the edge catcher when I use it right now. So I'm gonna do the same thing I just did with all of that, let it all fall down, and hopefully we get it to the edge before it creates such a massive amount of paint that when I throw it back over, which I'm gonna do, I don't know what we're gonna get. Another experiment! Oh my god! Squeeze it back. Watch it roll. Squeeze it again. Wow, we got some very muddy color there, but it's not on the painting, so... I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, let some of it go onto the edge catcher. Yes. Scrape it off. Find my spatula clean it off because it's covered with mud colored paint and grab that gorgeous paint and just put it right down there. I got a little, a little metallic brown, but I think we can dump that over. Pretty sure. We'll find out in a minute. I kind of want some of this off of here, but it'll drip away. I'm going to clean my spatula again. I keep a nice cotton, in this case, sweatshirt material. Then I can fold that in and I can rinse it out at the end of the day. Anyway, so I wish I'd done what I said I was going to do and grabbed some freezer paper that I'm trying to pull up. 
from beside us. Come here now, you. Thank you. All right, so I see that over there, and I want to be able to dump some of that off. And I don't mind if I do, because when it goes on freezer paper, for the most part, it means that you can eventually, if you're lucky, or not, peel, peel it up and make skins out of it. But I'm not sure about any of that right now. I just don't want it on my tile, because I just finished cleaning my tile off. And I have a foreign object I have just identified. Come you out of my painting. So that's pretty cool. We got some neat stuff happening. We got a little bit of uh, coppery colored mud. I think since I tidied that up fairly well, not entirely well, and that I probably have, yes. All right, so what am I gonna do? I am going to throw some black in there. Throw some blue in there. Throw some green gold in there. That's a folk art color shift, by the way. Let's see if I can keep... No, I can't. What is up with that? I want to keep that. So I'm going to blast it right back. I'm going to bounce it off the inside of my cup. Yeah, I got something now. Something I want. Alright, so I got what I got. And it's pretty weird, but so am I, so that's fine. I'm going to grab, what am I going to grab? I'm going to grab the clean edge catcher and play fast and loose with paint again. Since mostly at this point I have a strong desire to cover space. And see those weird colors in there? That's kind of what I had in mind at first. We got two minutes left. If you would like to help me support my studio, my paint habit, and your video habit, please contribute what you can, when you can, if you can, and if you can't, that's fine too, to the links on my YouTube header for Patreon or PayPal, and the links that are in the description below the video are also the same links. And PayPal is a however many times you want to do it, or a one-time thing, and Patreon has been a multiple time thing. If you want to buy the OXO OXO Good Grips Omelette Turning Spatula that spreads paint like magic, that is in my Amazon link that is directly under the video near the description above this description. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Above the description for my video. My paint recipe is in the description underneath the video. You have to open Show More. Click on that and you'll get that open. And um, what else am I missing? There's Pinterest links to see products and merchandise, t-shirts, coffee mugs, all kinds of stuff at my uh, pixels.com, which is linked to my Pinterest boards. Just fun stuff to look at, if nothing else, and uh, canvas prints and stuff like that. And um, then there's a Facebook album, which I tried to fill recently, populate recently, with um, pictures from YouTube art. So, that's really slippery. Please don't fall. Why is that caught on the edge? We're going to run out of time. Oh no. Well, at least the rest of the painting isn't moving. And it looks a lot like I'm going to have to do something else. And we're going to run out of time. So I'm going to say goodbye from Priscilla in Spring Hill for right now. And I'm going to come back in a minute. And hopefully the camera will still work because I had that cold thing on it. And um, see you in the next video. And thanks for everything. If I don't see you again quick, bye for now.